Nandy, my love, we've been together for such a long time now, and I think I'm ready to take the next step with you. <laughs> Nandy, will you marry me? I know I just asked you three seconds ago, but I can't wait any longer. I want to be married to you. What do we have to do to just make this happen? So you remember that I'm a Mexican citizen and you're American, right? Yeah, that did cross my mind. Okay, so to get married in Chicago, we need a fiancé visa. Whatever it takes, dear, I'll do anything. I am so glad you said that, because the first thing we need to do is file the I-129F packet. What are we needing here? I want to an F. Birth certificates. Photos. Passports. Photo ID. Evidence of any previous visa I've had, including every single time I've been to the US. Proof of relationship. This entails photos, stories, airplane tickets, passport stamps, and that's not all. A check with $535 and uh, proof of marriage intent. So this has to be real. Uh -huh. Okay, babe, I get it, I get it. It has to be real, I get it, okay? But after we do all that, then we're, we're done, right? Wrong! Welcome to part two. Part two? Yes, dear, part two. We have to wait seven months to get a reply. Of how many parts? Don't interrupt me. I have an interview, and that interview requires a second packet. This needs the results of a very thorough medical examination, an affidavit of support, which needs to fill a form, tax forms, bank statements, letter of good standing from your job. I need police records. I need a proof of our ongoing relationship. I need an older visas. I need more visa photos. And that's not it. Then we go to step three. So that is when I travel to the US. That's when you think you're done, right? But no, it's a trap.